Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another HD tutorial from MKBHD. And in this one, I'll be showing you guys how to download and install TweetDeck. Uh, so, basically, TweetDeck is obviously a Twitter client. Um, if you haven't used Twitter before, my Twitter link is on my page. You can uh, follow me on Twitter to get basically exclusive updates when I'm uploading a video, when I'm, uh, when I'm away, stuff like that. So, um, basically, go to any major search engine you can, uh, AOL, Yahoo, Google, anything like that, and type in TweetDeck, and it will be the first link there, TweetDeck.com. Once you click on TweetDeck.com, it'll take you to the beta website. It's version 0.2.5, and uh, basically, just hit the Download Now button. It is free, it is a very full version, and it runs on the Adobe Air platform for Mac OS X, for Windows, and for Linux. Uh, so, here we go. It'll open up the Adobe Application Install. Um, you're going to have to install and allow everything and just hit continue. And if UAC does pop up, just hit continue. So, uh, yeah, we're going into the uh, installation process here. It's installing the application. And as it's doing this, I'll talk a little bit about TweetDeck. It is, it, it has a big, it's a really nice, powerful, and fast uh, Twitter client. Um, it does have Facebook integration, so you can update your Twitter status, uh, th uh, your Facebook status through here. So um, now that it's been fully downloaded and installed, I'm going to exit out of our web browser. And what we can do, see we've uh, got an icon on our desktop. And first thing it does is open up TweetDeck. So here's what it looks like. All right, let's wait for it to finish. Actually, I'm not signed in, but um, I'm just going to uh, see this icon here. Uh, I am signed in. So uh, here's what it looks like when you're fully signed in. Obviously, I have a ton of messages and replies and stuff. I'll just click on it. So uh, basically... Um, now, TweetDeck is a really full-fledged uh, Twitter client. Right now, I have three columns open, the all friends, uh, people who I'm following, whatever you want to call them. Those are all their updates. In the middle, I have replies, so people who have replied at MKBHD. And on the right-hand side are all the direct messages. So um, if you have, were wondering why I haven't answered any direct messages, it's because I, I uninstalled TweetDeck to do a redo. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a tutorial on it. So I'm just going to minimize it here, and it does minimize to the system tray. And I see this icon here on our desktop. We're going to want to put that up in our communications tab somewhere next to Skype. All you got to do is just drag it in. So there we go. Um, and it's it's in the communications folder. Now, a lot of people say, well, I want TweetDeck to start um, with my computer, kind of like AIM used to. Uh, all you have to do is take the TweetDeck icon, drag it to the start menu, uh, hold it, hover it over all programs, and you have to uh, go and just drag down all the way until you get to the startup folder. And the startup folder is where you have all the things that, um, that start with Windows. So, like, uh, maybe you have AIM starting with Windows, maybe you have Skype. You can get Skype to start with Windows. So I'm just going to scroll down and dra drag TweetDeck to the uh, the start menu, uh, the uh, startup folder. So just hover over startup, and then drag it somewhere inside there, let go. So uh, TweetDeck is now in the startup folder. So now whenever you start up your computer, TweetDeck will uh, open up. So if you're wondering where it went that I minimized it, down here in the system tray, you see this little icon right here? Double click it, and TweetDeck opens up. So uh, you now have TweetDeck. You can obviously tweet using the tweet button right there. Doing uh, recording a video. Hit the enter button. It sends your tweet out. If you do uh, on the right hand side want to attach Facebook to this, you can also that would be your Facebook status. If you have a URL you want to share, you can post paste that URL there, shorten it, and then send your tweet. Uh, you can also attach a picture. You can obviously shrink the update if it's more than your 140 characters. But I basically, this is just an installation video, so if you do want a full review video, I'm planning on getting to that very soon. Uh, anyway, this has been a brief TweetDeck installation tutorial. I hope this was helpful to you. And uh, if you're not already following me on Twitter, the link is in the description in this video. And that's basically it. So thanks for watching. Peace.